Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for September 19th, 2014. Of course, it's Friday. It's time to get ready for the weekend. But we're going to have to deal with a bit of a chilly day today. That is for sure. Throughout the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. Some of you probably don't like this very much. Especially those of you who love to go to the beach. Others who hate the heat, heat and humidity like myself. Uh, absolutely love this. And I'm talking about temperatures, high temperatures, in the mid to upper 60s throughout much of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. Currently, temperatures range from the lower to mid 40s over the northern interior, upper 40s to lower 50s over the western suburbs of Philadelphia and New York City, and mid to upper 50s along the immediate coast. We have a cold front that is moving through. No precipitation, but definitely some cloud cover throughout the region. With winds veering, or should I say backing, to the northwest, from the northeast to the northwest at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Skies will clear by this afternoon, and it will be very comfortable with dew points in the 30s and 40s, and temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. It's going to be absolutely beautiful out there for this afternoon. So, let's take a look at the surface map first. High pressure is going to be in full control for today, tomorrow, and 99% of Sunday. We're going to be watching this cold front right here, which will merge with this cold front and this cold front, to create one big long cold front and pick up the moisture from what's left of Tropical Storm Odell. So Odell will be entrained into this cold front, and we'll have periods of showers by the time we get to late Sunday night, I'm talking about like 11 p.m., on through... Monday morning, like let's say about 9, 10 a.m. Once that moves through, polar high pressure is in control again, and clear skies will be in place for all of next week, along with temperatures averaging near to slightly below normal throughout the entire forecast period. Our one warm day is pretty much on Sunday, and Moss temperatures have kind of backed off from the 80s back down to more reasonable, as I was suggesting, mid to upper 70s. So let's take a look at the latest observations. Radar, high and dry and clear. We have a few showers with that cold front out here in the Atlantic where there's a little bit more moisture because it's the Atlantic Ocean. So we're not really worried about any precipitation for today, tomorrow, and much of Sunday. On the infrared satellite picture, you can see a high pressure system building in. Some of those lingering clouds are over the region right now. They will not be here for long. By this afternoon, we'll have sunny skies throughout the region with temperatures again in the mid to upper 60s for highs. Can't rule out like, you know, 70, 71 in Philadelphia metro, but that's about it. I mean, it's going to be a very cool day. We should be around 75 for this time of year. So we're definitely going to have a very cool day throughout the northern mid-Atlantic. And on the water vapor satellite picture, it kind of zoomed out for North America. You can see our nice trough over the eastern United States. Plenty of moisture brewing here over the southeast. We're watching this disturbance here. I don't think it's going to be tropical in nature. There's way too much shear going on here. you got dry air invading from the uh, Tennessee River Valley. But definitely like a hybrid area, low pressure could be bubbling up around here. I think that's going to stay off the coast, though. But we're going to have to watch it because these low-pressure systems, well, they tend to be a bit of a wild card. So sometimes you have to keep an eye on them and see how they develop as you move forward for Monday. But for right now, the idea is to keep this off the Atlantic. All this moisture that is brewing over Texas gets picked up by this trough and this upper-level disturbance, and it moves right through the United States. And then you see this pattern here. You see this right here, this jet stream. This is a Pacific jet stream. Starting to dig a little bit towards the Gulf of Alaska. And what that's going to do is lead to a zonal pattern over much of the United States. Leading to very tranquil and quiet weather conditions for the eastern two-thirds of the United States moving forward. And again, temperatures rebounding from below normal levels to near normal levels as that Pacific air invades much of the United States. So let's take a look at the latest model guidance using the Penn State wall website. And of course, we're going to use the European model guidance. Again, high pressure and control, clearing skies by this afternoon. Temperatures cool in the mid to upper 60s, lower 70s in the immediate Philadelphia metro. For tomorrow, Saturday, high pressure and control, clear skies, comfortable weather conditions, low temperatures tomorrow morning, 
in the lower to mid 40s over the far northern interior, upper 40s to lower 50s in your western suburbs of Philadelphia and New York City, and lower to mid 50s along the coast. Pretty much standard for this time of year. High temperatures tomorrow will rebound to near normal once again. We're talking about lower to mid 70s over much of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, upper 60s to lower 70s over the interior. On Sunday, winds will veer from the north to the southeast, and that means two things. More moisture, so higher humidity in the atmosphere, and also more cloud cover. We're definitely going to be warmer than what we've been the past day or two, but you know nothing anything extraordinarily warm. We're looking at temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s for lows, high temperatures in the mid to upper 70s with increasing cloud cover throughout the day. I'm holding it off on any rainfall until late at night as the cold front moves through the region. By Monday morning, showers are lingering in the morning. Again, I'm expecting whatever is trying to bubble up over here over the southeast coast to remain over the Atlantic and not influence our neck of the woods. So by that respect, I'm going to go with clearing skies by the time we get to Monday evening and Monday afternoon. Looking at temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s for lows in the morning throughout the region. As that cold front moves through, we still have a southwesterly flow. Winds veer to the northwest. A very cool polar air mass invades. Temperatures move very little over the interior. Looking at mid-60s for highs. Again, our low temperatures are going to be around 59, 61. Our high temperatures are going to be around 66 over the interior. Along the coast, upper 60s to lower 70s. Many locations are going to be around 68, 69 degrees for a high on Monday afternoon. Then high pressure will remain in control for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. High pressure is going to be in control, clear skies, dry air. Notice the 500 millibar pattern. You have an upper level low over the Gulf of Alaska. That leads to a trough off the west coast. A generally large ridge over much of the United States, but again, location is key. We have convergence here at 500 millibars over the uh, Canadian Maritimes and over the St. Lawrence River Valley. That means your core of high pressure is located over the northwestern Atlantic, and that leads to us in the northern Atlantic remaining near normal for the most part for the rest of next week, not above normal. If you want to look for above normal temperatures, look west, look towards the Mississippi River Valley, where you're going to get more of that southwesterly flow at all levels of the atmosphere. So we're definitely going into a near normal, quiet weather pattern for the rest of this upcoming weather pattern. Just some rain to deal with on Monday morning. Other than that, temperatures pretty much averaging near normal. Looking for low temperatures Tuesday through Friday in the mid to upper 40s over the interior, lower to mid 50s along the coast. High temperatures range from the upper 60s to lower 70s over the interior and lower to mid 70s along the coast. Again, pretty much averaging near normal. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen Martino. Follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.